Oh, well, would you look at that? Another puzzle. This one is rather odd. This one involves climbing all over the tracks. Oh, the sun. Climbing all over the tracks and setting them a certain way. We are going to do this one, but uh, I'll show you how it works first. Never. I thought there was. Oh yeah, there are pages here. If you listen, you can hear some kind of weird noise. More of the giant causeway. Ooh, this is probably the best view in all of our materia, guys. There's the scale puzzle, which we've balanced. There's the cupola, where you can see the uh, green crystal. And over there is the third puzzle, which we will get back to in five seconds. And the nice sunset in the background. I think there's supposed to be like a like land there, or maybe it's supposed to be just an island. I'm not sure. Here's some weird noises. Uh, we're not going to quite solve it yet, but if you pull this lever, I'll show you how it works. Pull this lever. The cupola rises. Very cool. That's how it makes the ice fall. Now, if you're wondering why the ice ball smashed, it's because there are certain sound waves going through those rings. This is the sonic ring puzzle. Now, you can see the puzzle is timed in a very specific way. And then it resets. Weird looking gears. But, uh, since it's not set the right way, you can see those lights blinking off on the tower. Uh, since it's not set a certain way, we have to set it the right way. Now if you turn around, you'll find some of Savito's pages. This one's interesting. How long is it? Okay, it's not very long. Okay, I'll read this one to you. Focus, Savidro. You must not let the fog come and swallow you. There are long spells, I think days, maybe months at a time, where I can't remember what I've done. The fog rolls so thick around me, even if I hold my hand in front of my eyes, I barely see it. I strain and strain and strain, but nothing sticks. I think... I think his sons came to visit us twice. On Narayan. The first time, Atris asked me to meet them. He told me they would come through the book. He says they will not understand how your words fit together, but they will use them to open the shield. Narayan, he says, is where their lessons come together. Narayan is the sum of what they must learn. I remember. Tamara was carving a spirit mask into the tree the day the boys arrived. She tugs my sleeve to get my attention, points at a glide ship in the sky. I'm shocked by how young the boys appear. They look so much like their father, yet they're different somehow, too. They're more impatient, and they are angry not to be treated like men. I take them to our home. I tell them that I will teach them how to care for it. I say, together we will encourage the lattice tree to grow tall. They ask me why we have to work so hard. They tell me- No, Savito, that was later. That was after Atris took them away. You know this because when you see them saying these things, they are older. Their faces have become angled and hard. They have grown up into men. And something dark is in their eyes. They tell you they've come back to fix Narayan. So, little bits and pieces of, uh, Savito's memory keep disappearing on him. Because he doesn't quite remember it, either because of his age, which is estimated to be around 40 if he were there when he was 20. If he got trapped there originally when he was 20. So I estimate it usually around 40 or 50 years old. Um, but the basic gist is... He's forgetting all these things, probably due to post-traumatic stress because he's blocking them out. Oh boy, here comes the scary part. Uh, this part scared me a lot when I uh, first did it. I literally saw that little corner of the painting there turn around and went, What's that? Oh, holy frickin' crap! This is the second Savidro mural. You saw the end Savidro mural, the third one in Voltaic. This is the one where, uh... It depicts the whole civil war between uh, certain sects of Narayan. Some sided with Cirrus over here, some sided with Akhenor over here. And Savito felt like he was in the middle of it. And if you look carefully, you can see he has three faces. Kind of like, there was a sculpture done a while back by someone called the Nightmare. And it's kind of like that. 
very surreal, very spooky. One of them is using, I think, like a spear gun or something. I'm not sure. I think it's a spear gun. And one of them is using, like, a sickle, I think. But, uh, so this is basically about the whole fight on Narayan. Very spooky. I don't know why it scared me so much, but when I first saw it, oh god, it scared the shit out of me. Um, still does. I don't like going through this room very much. Take one last look back. You can see it better from this angle. You can't get very close. If you look up, you can see the little bench Savito used to paint it. I like to think he put a lot more emotion into this one than the others, just because this was the most traumatic event in the lives of his people and in his history, people's history. So, yeah. Let's get out of here. I don't like the music in here, and I'm not very fond of that picture either. Especially Savito's face there, it looks scary. So, now this puzzle can get very difficult if you don't know what you're doing. This is the Sonic Rings puzzle. And, uh, when you walk through those rings, you'll hear that they make sounds. The sounds won't hurt you, but they do break the ice ball. So you need to turn those sounds to a certain frequency so they can go at a certain time. It's a timing puzzle. Now, from where you walked in right here, the best way to do this, I find, is if you assign a certain way around. So, A, B, C, D, E. That's how you want it to be, because that's how the ice ball goes. Now, the first room the ice ball enters is this one. If it won't freeze. How come every time I mention that it freezes, it unfreezes? Now, if you look over here, I want to show you a cool effect. I'm standing inside the ice ring. I think we better get out of there. But yeah, it's, 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 uh, it's, uh, using an intense wave of sound. And that's what's shattering the ball. And what you want to do is turn it off. Now, when you look at this dial, this is a weird dial. If you look at this, the gears are set like a clock face and they go by twos. 12, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Now, if you remember how the gears were shaped on, uh... On, uh, the puzzle over there, you want to turn those gears to those shapes. This one you have to set to 10, so 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. So set it to 10. And now you'll see that uh, the sound has changed, and so is the frequency. It's a pretty rock and beat right there. Wom, 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 wom. So, okay, so now that we've set C, which is where it goes through first, the path it takes is C, A, D, B, E. So, 